Hello everyone, it is John and today we are having a look at another one of the Battletech range of box sets and this one is Aerotech. Yes, uh, this is I believe the third in the range of the uh, Battletech box sets. Could be wrong, but certainly the third one that's sitting on my shelf. And uh, this is, I can't remember what date it is, but anyway, let's go have a look at what is in the box. Right, we are looking at Aerotech, a Battletech game of fighter combat. Now, this was the uh, third, I think, box set for the um, Battletech series, and this introduced uh, fighter fighter aircraft or space aircraft into the Battletech universe and uh, so let's have a look uh, as I have said in my other videos I have been going through and uh, trying to reunite the contents of each of the boxes because previously I've been using the boxes as just storage to stick everything Battletech related and jamming it in there like all the battle boards I've been shoving across multiple boxes so I've decided look I'm gonna have to try and put all the contents of everything back into their boxes and uh, sadly uh, I'm not quite getting there but anyway let's have a look so main important thing is I still have the rule book and of course we at this stage still had they were still using the uh, the stingers so the LAMs land air mechs so they had not quite been I think hit with the desist and do not use injuncture so the rule set again was you know nice and simple standard um, it was a lot of fun I, I really enjoyed this set of rules drop ships aerospace fighters also introduced I think I think this had um, rules for the uh, for uh, conventional aircraft as well I'm fairly sure but it was, you know, I'm, yeah, so they still had the, the, uh, land air mix. So I was quite, so that was still, still there, so, and they still had the, uh, that, so you had light, medium and heavy aircraft and fighter designs. And of course the nice thing about all of the Battletech universe was that you could create and design your own um, aircraft and, and vessels and, and mechs and stuff. So that was the other nice thing about the whole thing. So there was there was a design. There was a design. Sorry. Pippin? No. Sorry, my dog's often barking at the moment. So, um, yeah, so anyway, so that's the rule book. Then the, uh, you know, the, all the uh, counters are still there, which is, which is nice. The, uh, the original dice. And you only had the, uh, apparently they had a, uh, some, uh, an errata. Must be for City Tech. I must have that out of out of the box. Oh no, there it is, Aerotech as well, so this might have come in this box, I'm not too sure. That's the back of the box, oh, sadly it's got a bit of bit of damage, as you can see it's had quite a bit of wear and tear over the years. This is the uh, this is the, uh, the map So you had a map for for uh, assaulting planetary bodies, and then 
there was if you just wanted to do obviously just standard um, no planetary body combat altogether so it was you know nice and nice and simple so there you go that is my copy of Aerotech which apart from missing a few counters which I think is not doing too badly although I'm pretty sure that if I had a look in my friend <laughs> Shane's um, Shane's box I'm pretty sure they'd probably be sitting in there but once again we used each other's stuff during those days so yeah all right well look thank you very much everybody for uh, for watching uh, and until next time signing off the honorable john